Hi, my name is Mariah, I'm 11 years old. My name is Kinei and I am 9 years old. We are going to meet and speak to a Paralympian. She was a swimmer, now she's an author. I am Ellie. Oh no, my mic pack fell out. Can I put that back in? Have you ever interviewed anybody before? Class of Paralympics TV. Hi Ellie, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. We've got some questions for you. Should I be worried? No. I feel at ease. Right, let's get going. What inspired you to be a swimmer? I was always really competitive. I did so many sports. I even did judo. That was fun because I got to throw people around. I went to a talent spotter day and somebody said, you could be good, we think you should start swimming. I was like, yeah, I want to do it. I want to do good, I want to do well. And so I started swimming competitively and got better and better until eventually I competed in Rio in 2016. And what? When you went to Brazil to get the medal, was it hard? The hardest thing is the training because I always found it quite boring. It was, it's so important though. It was all worth it. And I got to tell myself, you know, this is why you work hard. This is why you train because you can prove to yourself just what you're capable of. Why have you stopped swimming? I got an injury in my hip, which meant that I couldn't carry on. I used to love competing, but sometimes I found the training a little bit too much. But I think the main one was in lockdown during COVID, I found this real passion for history. And that was when I knew that's what I wanted to do next. For you, what is your favourite achievement? I think if we're looking at medals, it'd definitely be going to Rio and winning gold. I think if we're looking at kind of personal development and what I'm proudest of, it'd definitely be getting to Tokyo because I wasn't really meant to go with the injury in my hip. I couldn't really do much in the water. So just telling myself, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get to Tokyo and getting on that plane, getting on the block and swimming my race in Tokyo, I think that's probably what I'm proudest of. What's your favourite animal? Oh, I love dogs. I used to have a golden Labrador, so I will go with dogs. And what's your favourite food? I like Italian food. Oh, I like chips though. This is really hard. Can I have Italian food and chips? <laughs> What inspired you the most to write books for children? I've always loved writing and I want to share everything that I've learned with people like you, with the next generation and to yeah, learn how to live life to the, to the fullest. Thank you for joining us today, Ali. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you too. I'll come back anytime. time. <laughs>